Lynch Family Restaurant, Faye Ode. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Great to see you here. It's great to be here. You Thank brought, you for inviting me. Of course. You brought something. Well, I brought the first batch of homemade pumpkin pie. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Oh, just we, baked it last night. It? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you should open it. I can yeah. open it. <laughs> really? There Here we go. Too, get yeah. it open. I, uh, I put it in a, I usually use my glass dishes, but this one I put it in an aluminum foil okay. so you didn't have to worry about bringing back the, the oh, glass. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we have about eight of your Sorry glasses. about that audio <laughs> for you folks yeah. at home. Can so everybody hear that at home? We'll get that out. That's all right. Yeah. It's so this is one of uh, dozens of desserts that you're famous right. for. Right, yes. There we go. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. That looks lovely. And it's not from a can? No, Nothing. It's homemade pumpkin, real pumpkin. I take the pumpkin, cut it in half or quarters, scoop the seeds, put it upside down with a little bit of water in the oven for almost two two and a half hours until it falls apart. Scoop the mm -hmm. pumpkin, put it in a food processor, then it process it that way. Awesome. Wow. How long have you been uh, op owned, owning and operating Steve's Ranch now? We are going on our 45th year. Congrats, wow. that's awesome. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of years. Yes, it's amazing. And yeah. I know you have wonderful customers. You have groups of folks that come in every week. I know you have some favorites. Just talk about some of the uh, some of those regulars that you oh, have. Oh, we enjoy all our customers. Uh, as I was going to pick up the pie, uh, Dr. Metine mm -hmm. was there. He mm -hmm. said hello, <laughs> yeah. and he is with uh, uh, one of his friends. And uh, we have the Howley family. It was just delight to see. Uh, James and Ella growing up. Ella was just a little tiny, but six, seven years old when I asked her to help me make mm -hmm. a chocolate cake and she yeah. broke the brownies and piled them up on the uh, chocolate <laughs> yeah. cake. And uh, I think either Andy or her mom took a picture and she put it on a cup yeah. and she gave it to me for Christmas and she said, thank you for letting me help you bake yeah. <laughs> the cake. And that was my favorite cup. I still have it in the restaurant. It's but she was up to here. I know. Now I'm looking up I know. to her. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. But it is a, fam yeah. it's a family yeah. restaurant. It's a, and you know, you yes. such a close family, but you treat everyone like family. Everybody like family. And even the customer, they come and they ask about my kids. Where are they now? Who's, where is Rami? Where is Joey? Where is this one? Where is that? They all, and they tell me that they went to school with them or they work with them. And it's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. It is, you feel like you belong to the community. Yeah. It is your community. They are your support and they uh, always happy with you when they come and when mm -hmm. I come to sit with them or uh, stand by their booth and talk to them. They're just very comfortable, just like you're yeah. talking to a brother or a sister. And um, we listen to our community demands and what they want, and we are happy to comply. Mm -hmm. And we just uh, found out that they want the buffet back. The prime Everybody ribs Everybody wants the back. prime rib back, buffet back. Yeah. You have a lot of celebrities that eat at your restaurant. You have Bart Hawley, uh, Dr. Ed Mattine, Herb Brogan, Senator uh, Phil Hoffman. Yes. I mean, the list goes on and oh, on. It's mm -hmm. The cutest thing, Senator Phil Hoffman, every time he comes in in the morning, he brings his, one of the grandkids and mm -hmm. they'll eat chocolate cake before breakfast. <laughs> and we take a picture and he compiled the most beautiful book for uh, his grandkids eating cake and I am serving him a cake. One of them, I'm giving one of the grandkids a flower. I guess it's from the patio there. And with just so many different photos in the morning That's at the cool. ranch. And it's all in one book. It is so heartwarming. You just <laughs> feel so good. Like, yeah. uh, just like your kids, you know, you watch that kid grow up. His father he played hockey with my son, Rami, and I used to sit next to Mrs. Hoffman and yeah. she has that cowbell and we oh, all- Oh yeah, 
<laughs> and we always cheered the kids playing hockey. And now we are raising the grandkids and cheering the grandkids mm. playing hockey. <laughs> Well, let's talk about those buffets coming back. Yes. We've got two uh, starting this weekend. Right. And that's our uh, brunch buffet on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And it has everything you want for uh, breakfast or lunch. We have, uh, we start with uh, the fruit, all kind of fruit, a big fruit tray, Beautiful. as everybody likes it. We have also, uh, this is our dinner buffet. And that's the roast beef. We have roast beef, a prime mm. rib, big chicken, ham, macaroni and cheese, and green beans, and mashed potatoes and gravy. I also make a fresh homemade dinner roll, including the soup and salad bar. Oh, so the soup and salad bar. So of every, course. everything you want. It just makes everybody happy. And Real mashed potatoes. That's right. Of course. We peel our Idaho potatoes, boil them, mash them with the, we have a huge masher, hand masher, and we put uh, sometimes half and half or heavy whipping cream, a little bit of butter and a little bit of salt. Awesome. And, and the gravy is homemade, made with the dripping of the prime rib. We take our prime rib seriously. Mm -hmm. We take the big prime rib and tie it within just about three quarter of an inch apart with a string, season it, and leave it in the seasoning overnight. And the next day, we bake it for three hours at 275, 295. Then the last half an hour, we crank the temperature to 500. You know what you're doing. Everything tastes Eggs. good. Everything <laughs> tastes good there. We have learned this through yes, the years. <laughs> through the 45 years, yes. Yeah. And save room for dessert because uh, Steve's Ranch is Michigan's best dessert. Back. And it's right here in Jackson. Thanks for coming in, Faye. You are welcome. Thank you for inviting me to Thanks be here. Thanks for the pie. Yes. From Steve's <laughs> Ranch, family restaurant, uh, Faye O'Day. Uh, more of the morning show after this. At the YMCA, our mission is centered on fostering vibrant communities where every individual can flourish. That's why our annual Strong Communities campaign